Hello, this is Techman88, and this is going to be a quick video on trading with villagers using an auto hotkey script that I created. So the most efficient way to trade manually and get emeralds is to find a farmer, and then you put a potato or a carrot or something in there, then you shift click that, then you double click this and it'll fill up uh, up to 64 again. Then you would switch to another category and just keep doing this over and over. And this is a whole lot of mouse clicks. Now I'll show you how fast this is with the auto hotkey script. So I'm just pressing one button here. And each time I do that, it's going to try and sell that whole stack. Then I can go over to another villager and uh, try and sell to him. And you can see my emerald count is going up kind of fast. I already got 25 just in that time. And you can, you can kind of hear how much you're selling from the experience that you're getting from these sales. And this is actually a pretty good way to get experience too, if you've got a really good farm. So that's a whole stack already. That was just like maybe 30 seconds or a minute. And I'm just going from farmer to farmer so that when one is cooling down, I can trade with the next. This script is just really, really simple. All it does, the first thing it does is it clicks wherever your mouse is, then it clicks here in this box up here, then it shift clicks here, then it, after that it shift clicks here. Uh, so that was potatoes. And this is why it's kind of fail safe. Like this has the, uh, the divisor of 64, so 16 potatoes. Uh, but like with carrots, if I do the same thing here, shift click, and now there's carrots left in here. So the way it kind of resets to the original state is by shift clicking here, that puts it back in your inventory. I'm going to go through the auto hotkey script a little bit just because I think you might have to configure this a little bit for your system or your preferences. So uh, this is set up for 1920 by 1080 and if you have a different resolution that you're running at you will have to reconfigure this. Um, and then the auto GUI scale because that affects the uh, villager trade window. Uh, so the first thing you might want to configure is the shortcut. I used Control alt s um, Control shift s might work better, but that's what I used. And uh, the next thing it does is it, it checks if you're actually in Minecraft, so it won't run this, uh, run this script if you're in another window and you do this, uh, this hotkey. Uh, then it backs up the mouse position because it's going to be moving the mouse around you want it just to just move back to where you had it originally um, then does a few commands just to make it run faster if you have a slow system you might need to just comment out these commands you just do that that tells it just ignore everything after the semicolon but it seems just fine the way it is um, <clears throat> next thing it does is it, as I was saying earlier, it just clicks and that picks up the stack that your mouse is over. Uh, the next thing it does is it, this command tells it to move the mouse to uh, this position, these two pixel positions, and then click it. So this is the stuff to sell a slot. Uh, next it does a shift click, this would be where the emeralds are. Then it does another shift click back where the uh, the stuff to sell slot is. If you need to reconfigure this script for your resolution or your GUI scale, what you would do is you'd go into Minecraft and you would open up the trading window, and then uh, do Window Spy in uh, in Auto Hotkey. What you'll do is you will look at these pixel coordinates right here. That's your mouse position within the window. Uh, and make sure you're clicked on the Minecraft window so it gets the right values. Uh, so looking over there, the window position is about 800 and 460. Then in auto hotkey, uh, that's where this number goes. So yeah, I put my mouse here, read those values, 
and uh, just copy them, write them into the auto hotkey script. Uh, then over here, this is the second value. This is 11, 35, 448. And well, this is roughly the position there. Just on the same subject, uh, if you have a different Minecraft window title, uh, that'll also be written into the Windows Spy. You can just copy paste that into here if you're running a different version. I hope that auto hotkey explanation was clear enough just because you might have to reconfigure this for your system if you're running a different resolution than 1920 by 1080 or a different GUI scale or a different uh, Minecraft version. In terms of actually producing all the food that you're going to want to be selling to these villagers, uh, a couple farms I can recommend are the carrot farms and the potato farms. You can make automatic versions of this and I'll link a video by Logical Geek Boy who uh, he did a whole lot of work on this topic. Uh, then there's the pumpkin and melon farms, which are pretty easy to do. They're actually a lot easier than the, vil uh, the auto villager farms. I'm also going to share a few little tidbits for working with villagers, at least in creative. Um, one thing is this. I saw this in some other videos, but if you set a, a if you have a cobblestone wall and then a a fence next to it. That's just about enough space that the villagers can't wiggle around back and forth very much. They're about the same hitbox as me. And you can actually set up a basic villager trading hall this way. The next tip is that you can summon uh, a brown coat villager and that's just a summon villager at your position and then profession zero and I think six works. And this won't always Summon a uh, fi uh, farmer, but you can kill it and then just try again. The next tip is that uh, the way to kill villagers, uh, you want an axe. You don't want a sword because a sword will hurt a lot of stuff beside it. And this is a command. Just give all players diamond axe with really high sharpness. This is out of the normal range. And I will put this in the description so you can just paste it into a command block. In terms of previous work on this, I think other people have made m much more automatic trading scripts that do this. Uh, like I think Il Mango, he has one that he used in the Sidecraft world. Uh, and that one, from his description, it sounded like it actually, uh, like it could tell if the trade was blocked out. Like it would, uh, <coughs> it would detect if there was like the red X mark over this trade um, and I guess there's some debate in the community whether this kind of thing is okay or if it's too much automation I think my script here is acceptable amount of automation because just clicking around this dialog box is very very annoying and I think you'd rather just not get carpal tunnel syndrome. I think that's going to be the end of this video because it's already getting kind of long and it's really just a simple script. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.